My name is Shirley Posey from Imhotep Institute Charter High School. And at Imhotep Institute Charter High School, we believe in our African-centered STEM program that we are cultivating global leaders and catalysts that address global issues such as climate change and environmental issues that will change the world. Developing these young people that they can address these issues. And now we are here in Ghana, where we are teaching teachers how to 3D print water filters. Not only are we teaching them how to 3D print water filters, but we're teaching them about water quality and how to actually investigate the quality of their water and how these 3D printers work. We are grateful for hosting you with us. It's been fun having you around and today's program has benefited us a lot because the 3D printer, we can now get a lot of teaching and learning materials for our kids, which will help them improve their learning. So far, my experience here has been great. Um, I see a lot of happy faces. I didn't expect to be greeted with a lot of you know, hospitality. We focus on um, sustainability and not only our communities, but our communities around the world. And this is just one of those communities that we get to take care of. So I'm extremely thankful. I'm extremely grateful for this opportunity. And I can't wait to spend more time here. I love it here. I'm happy to have Impotech in the Yonsha Group International. I am so happy the way they are supporting the school. You know, they are building a, a library which, which will help the kids to learn more. So we are not only developing global leaders, we are developing critical leaders and people that are making effective changes in our community locally and globally. Hi, my name is Janice Waters. I'm a STEM ambassador with Imhotep Institute Charter High School. Today we made a long journey to get to the villages so that we can offer them clean water and our clean water solutions. But today we ran into some uh, dangerous water conditions, I mean weather conditions. So we were unable to make it to the village today. Uh, we will be traveling tomorrow to make it to the village, but we were unable to due to the overflowing in the, the roads and the rain is very dangerous as well as thunder. We came here today to give the village water filtration systems, but unfortunately they had, we had bad climate weather, which is another reason why we need to be here to give them for water filtration systems. Uh, but we're determined to give them water filtration systems tomorrow. Akme, thank you. My name is Jeremiah White, and we are here in Ghana on the beaches of Africa, and we're here to play football. Um, I'm very excited to play with the people here and to play also play with my fellow center ambassadors. And uh, we just here to have a good time, and we are thankful for the people here to accept us. My name is Edmond. Uh, I actually got the chance to play with the MOTF American football team, and it's been a good game, and I really enjoyed it. was actually really great. We played we played American football. We was able to we were able to teach other people who are from here who play who don't really know how to play how we play. And we ended it nice, played in the ocean, got wet a little bit, 
have fun and yeah. Hello, it's Jabri here. I'm, I'm happy we got here so we can go to the other side. I'm happy to get the boat experience too. Getting over there, I'm, I'm really happy we're here because we get to give them a water filtration system and they can have clean water. I'm very, very excited for this. Well then what we're doing now is the unclean water. You want to pour it directly in here, then it'll take out all the bad things, right? That'll make you really sick. Put the purifier in the water. Yeah, it helps like cleans cleans the water, get rid of the bacteria and things of that nature. You just shake it, shake it for about like between three to five minutes. And then you're supposed you're supposed to let it sit for about between twenty to thirty minutes. Putting putting so many smiles on faces that look like me and skin is it, just totally like a culture shock to me. And to do it, I would, love, I would love to do it again. And to do it is just so amazing. experience today has been um, overwhelming. The hours that we put into this project, um, the sacrifices that we made to get here, and I think just seeing after the water came out clear, after they've been having to drink this water that's really a result of climate change, and when the sea levels rise, it causes this influx of flooding and causing the water to be unclean. And I'm just so I take so many things for granted. And I only just taking things for granted when your heart is pure and you want to help people, especially people that are in need. And no one else was helping them. And you come miles away and the sacrifices that you make you know it's worth it. And really it, it ignites a fire. It ignites a fire in you that makes you want to do more. So as I saw their smiles and heard their cheers from just the clean water, nice. my mind began to open up and look around to what else we can do. And then, so it's limitless and it's so powerful what science, technology, and engineering and math can do is life-changing and, and so it has ignited a fire in me even the more to want to do more. <laughs>